I suffer PTSD because I contacted sociopath. I feel shame about myself. When I do things I love, I feel scared without no reasons at the present moment. I feel difficulty in accepting my uncomfortable feelings in my body and other people's judgment. I suddenly remember excruciating memories. The first thing I would like to say to you is that other people's judgment has nothing to do with you. So whatever other people say to you, however they judge you, it's never about, it's never correct. It's never about you. It's about them. It's about their way, how they see things. So nobody actually knows you, but you. Nobody actually, nobody can judge you unless they actually talk to you and get to know you. And then you ask them, what do you think of me? That's the only time people can actually judge you and say things to you that are available actually you know because if you never ask them for your for their opinion and if they never knew you just by looking at you people make all kinds of assumptions people make so many assumptions people project their own bullshit onto other people so other people's judgment anytime you feel somebody looking at you the wrong way thinking something oh look at this or oh whatever it's not about you. It's not correct. Just don't just try to try to reframe it like it's not correct because it's not. It's not. They don't know you. They don't know you. They can only guess. And if they're guessing bad things, it means that their view of the world is like that. It doesn't mean that you are bad. It means that people that judge you and say, "Oh, look that that person's ugly." or that person's not good enough, or he's not worthy, or he will never amount to anything, or he's so poor, or he will never have a girlfriend, or he is so sensitive, or look at him, he's weak, or look at her, she's crying. Whatever it is, that tells everything about the person and nothing about you. Nothing about you. I can judge you as well. You know what I see? I see a person who's strong enough to talk about their uh, their suffering on on a, on a live in front of a lot of people, I see great strength in that. I see immense strength in this. That you came here and you are sharing your your suffering with everyone else. That you're not afraid. And that again, that doesn't tell, that doesn't say anything about you, because I could have said something else. And it still that didn't say anything about you. It tells you what I see. It tells it tells you about me. It tells you who I create lines is. It's about what I see. And then the same way is when someone else tells you that that person's ugly, that person's not good enough, that person whatever. The thing that's coming out of their mouth is them. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's never about you. So. From somebody think of it as if it's like a breath like like a, like a bad breath coming out of somebody's mouth and you feel it you feel it because it's icky because it's uh, what is this but it's there it's theirs that judgment comes out of them so that's where you need to look it's not like they spit judgment and then you look at yourself, oh my god, am I really like that? No, that's that came from them. That came from them. You gotta look at them, not yourself. If you get judgment, if you get criticism, if you get bad language from somebody, if you get judgment, if you get dirty looks like, who is that now? Look at that guy, look at that girl. Like, well, who, do, who does he think he is? Like, oh, he will never do whatever, whatever somebody tells you. It all, it, it all depends. So other people's judgments, just, it's not about you. Those people are, those people are miserable. Anyone that's not miserable would never do things like that. 
Like if I'm happy in my life, like look, I'm helping people. People help me. I, I made a circle of abundance through this app, through In Insight Timer. I help people, people donate and book sessions with me so I can help them even more. And the more I help them, the more people get support. And it's a circle of abundance. My life is amazing. Why would I ever talk shit about somebody if my life is good? I would never. I would talk better about people. I would lift them up because I know it goes into my circle of abundance. It's just going to come back. So if I go and spew negative remarks on people, if I spew judgment, if I say uh, insulting things to others, if I look at people and like, oh, what is this? That only tells you that I am unhappy with my life. I have something in my life that is like a big thorn up my ass that is poking me. And so whenever you feel judgment from somebody, just look at the person. Look at how miserable they are. Look, look how much they are suffering. It's probably not somebody that's happy. It's probably somebody that's like, I do that. I, I, when I walk down the street and I feel like looks from people and I feel, or somebody walks next to me and goes like, looks at me and goes like, oh, and spits and whatever. I just look at first, I feel it and I go, hmm, like, what did I do to deserve this? And then I think like, oh, actually, yeah, I didn't deserve this because it's not me. And then I look at the person and it's probably a homeless guy or a person like walking, smoking a cigarette on a, on a break. They, ju they just have a 15 minute break from their job and they're smoking a cigarette. And that judgment has nothing to do with me. It has to do with they have another four hour shift of a, of a job that they're really frustrated at doing. And they have this five minutes to enjoy the cigarette and, you know, or, or it's a woman carrying bags, going home to, to a marriage that lacks communication or whatever. It's never about me, but it takes so much strength and compassion in us to be able to look and see this judgment is not about me. It's not about me. So like you say, you contacted the sociopath, you feel shame. Please don't. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That sociopath, that person that did that to you, it's not about you. That person suffered. That person is not happy. That person is deeply disturbed with something in their life. And you are, you just, you came into the, the wrong place at the wrong time. You made, you, you, you just came into their life. It's, you came into their life. Please don't, don't feel shamed. You did nothing wrong. You trusted, which is so brave. You trusted, you put your heart like this and somebody crumbled it. And now you feel trauma. You feel like you can't trust anybody, right? You feel like you don't, you feel like you trusted that friend or that, like that sociopath is, was either your friend or your partner or your parent or somebody and you feel like you can't trust anyone else but not everyone is like that there's a whole community of people here that are all not like that there's there's so many people out there you need to surround yourself with people you know you can trust please come come to this live every day if you need to and you will you will you will you will get fueled by all the beautiful people in this chat and by me and book sessions with me if you want. I will talk to you as much as you want to book sessions. I will talk to you daily if you want. Um, so that's another thing. To, to, the, the sociopath, they, they look for like people that suffer so much. They will look for people that are most open and most um, honest and good-hearted and kind and you will just get all of their baggage and they will make you feel guilty for it they will make you feel shamed it's all a part of the program the program of suffering the program of some everyone else is to blame for my for my life 
So you just came into this relationship or friendship as a good, kind-hearted, open person, and you got you got crushed. And that's okay. That's okay. We can we can forgive ourselves. You can also forgive them. You don't. You will never maybe get a sorry. You will never get an apology from them. But we shouldn't expect it, and we shouldn't forgive people to get an apology. You forgive people so you can move on. So in your mind, don't look at that person as evil. Look at that person as a little child that's scared. Because all people that hurt others are actually small, little, scared children. All sociopaths are little, little kids. They're little kids stuck at seven. And they don't know what to do. So they just make other people suffer. That's what it is. And it's it's profoundly sad to, to feel these things, to have compassion for people, especially people that did you wrong, like the sociopath you're talking about. Like, you never want to forgive them. Like, how, how, how dare they? How dare they do that? But they're also suffering. 